Okay, so in this short video, I want to talk a little bit about the importance of persistence. Now, the reason why I want to talk about that topic is because of the book that I'm reading currently. It's called Talent is Overrated by Geoff Colvin. It's a very interesting book, uh, mostly because Geoff Colvin talks about how skills and the, the skill set that we acquire over time is so much more important than uh, the initial talent that we are born with when it comes to becoming truly great in anything that we want to do. And uh, it's fascinating for a lot of different reasons. Um, for example, he talks a lot about uh, deliberate practice about which I already shot a video so if you are interested in that and I believe you should then uh, click on this link up here and it will take you right to it but in this video I want to talk a little bit about persistence really get deeper with it um, get, get deeper into that topic and really point out why persistence is so crucial if you want to amount to anything in your life. So for that I want to read you a short quote from the book and it goes like that. Um, okay, so he in this uh, segment he's talking about how world-class performers uh, take a lot of time until they actually accomplish something that uh, is noticed by the world. Okay, so what he says is during those first 10 or so years these creators weren't creating much of anything that the outside world noticed. And then he goes on and actually calls this the 10 years of silence. So what does that mean? It means that for 10 or so years, almost anyone who later made remarkable stuff, who really was innovative, creative, really changed uh, the world around us and uh, really um, came up with completely new ideas or uh, products. All these people took about 10 years until they made it to that point, until the world around them even realized what these people were capable of. So for 10 years straight, these people were struggling. They were trying their best. They were working hard on their skills. But at the same time, nobody was really giving them credit for what they were trying to do. So they needed insane amounts of persistence to really get to that point where the world around them finally appreciated what they were able to do. Where the people around them finally appreciated the skills that these people had acquired. So. It is not at all like um, like this fairy tale story, you know, where where you just have this in, innate talent um, that you're born with, and from the start, people are just supporting you on your path, and people around you are like, "Ah, oh, this guy, he's gonna he's gonna become a big star at some point, and he's gonna go for it," you know? No, no, no. It's not like that at all. For ten years you have to be hustling, you have to be struggling, you have to be paying your dues, you have to be kicked to the ground over and over again and told by everyone around you that you will not succeed, that you will not make it. And you have to get through that for 10 years until you finally get to that point where people are like, okay, actually he does have some skills and uh, maybe he's gonna do a good job after all. So just imagine this insane amount of persistence and dedication that that takes. You have to be so grounded within yourself. You have to be so sure about what you are capable of and what you want to accomplish in this world and with your life. So you have to have this very clear idea of what your path looks like because nobody else is going to be leaving you so you have to be the one believing in yourself and nobody out there at least at the beginning is going to support your dream nobody's going to go like 
yeah, you're gonna succeed, you're gonna make it. No, it will take many, many years until you can finally convince the people around you that you are the one. So this persistence, I think, is one of the main skills that you have to have in order to succeed in anything in life. Because, of course, you can acquire uh, different kinds of skill sets, but uh, you won't even be able to get through that um, acquisition phase of skills, so to say, if you don't have persistence first. Nobody's gonna do it for you. Nobody's gonna be out there uh, telling you what the next step is. Nobody's gonna be even supporting you uh, to go the next step, to take the next step. No, you have to have that persistence and you have to have that belief in yourself. And the interesting thing is that uh, in all these success stories, um, you know, with hindsight, People always say that, of course, uh, he would make it because he is that guy, you know, he's just famous for what he does and everybody knows that he's great at what he or she does. So everybody with hindsight says, of course, of course, it's ha it had to work out that way, but they don't see that these people weren't born that person. Uh, they had to become that successful person. They had to become that person that is immediately associated with that kind of skill or that kind of area that they succeeded in. So in this book, for example, Geoff Colvin, um, and in the segment that I just read to you, he mentions uh, Pablo Picasso. And he says that, you know, of course, everybody is saying, well, it's Pablo Picasso. Of course, he's going to eventually succeed uh, in becoming one of the greatest artists of all time but people fail to understand that for these 10 years of initial skill set building and struggling he was not yet Picasso of course that was still his name um, but he was not yet that famous artist and painter that Picasso is uh, he was yet to become Picasso he was on his path of becoming that person he was not yet it so during that period I think it is so crucial to have that persistence that is crucial to really take your passion and make something out of it a lot of people have passion I believe almost anyone has passion for something at some point of their lives but so many people fail to live up to uh, that standard and uh, really make something out of the passion that they have just because they don't combine the passion that they have with persistence they gotta persist and they gotta get through these 10 years of struggling where uh, nobody's supporting them and nobody's helping them so if you are not able to make it through 10 years which is a very very long time to work on something that uh, you are not very good at at the beginning maybe if you are not willing to go through these 10 years without uh, external help then maybe it's best if you don't go for it at all be very clear if you start that kind of path that it will take a long time and that it will take a lot of persistence but if you feel like you have that persistence even better then go for it make things happen for yourself talk to you next time